welcome to my channel in this video we are going to talk about the working of the peak detector circuit can we use a ac voltmeter to measure the amplitude of a square wave maybe a triangular wave maybe a sawtooth wave no ac voltmeters are basically designed to measure the RMS value of the pure sine wave. This should be remembered. Solution to this problem is to measure the peak value of the any non sinusoidal waveforms. Let us consider this is a waveform. I have I want to measure the peak value of this waveform. It may be a measuring a temperature. I might have used uh, some sensor or a transducer which converts a temperature into voltage. I want to measure voltage peak or temperature peak. All of us know this working of a diode and if I give the waveform like this, I will get the output waveform. No doubt clipped, negative clipped, only it conducts in the positive half cycle. I will get this waveform. Now, if I give the waveform like this, Everything is positive, and I'm going to get a waveform output waveform. This red color, what I have mentioned or shown. Now let us consider how. Now the input is increasing. Take this particular portion, and output will also increase the voltage across the capacitor because input is increasing. When it is increasing continuously, that will become forward bias and it conducts the output also increases across the capacitor. After some time, now the input is reducing, but capacitor voltage is not this much, but input is less than this, then this becomes reverse bias, it doesn't conduct. That time, this voltage across the capacitor will remain same. So hence, we'll get a waveform like this. Again, the input is increasing black color, what I shown in the uh, waveform. Again, the dot become forward bias. Again, the output increases. After this, input is reducing now again. Now, diode will become reverse bias. Hence, voltage across the capacitor will remain constant. Again, still it is reducing. Again, it will become constant. So, this is a working of this diode and a capacitor circuit. So, voltage follows circuit. We know that output will be equal to input. Now, using those two circuit, a voltage follower and a diode and a capacitor combination, this is a peak detector circuit diagram. <coughs> During post your half cycle, D1 is on, and capacitor charges to the peak voltage of whatever the input you are applying. And D1 is on, circuit acts as a voltage follower. During negative half cycle, D1 is off. During negative half cycle, D1 is off. Voltage across the capacitor will remain as it is because D1 is off and RL is very high. And this IB is negligible and uh, if RL is not more then you can take a buffer like R is used to protect the op amp against a excessive discharge current when supply is off. D2 conducts during a negative half cycle. D2 conducts during the negative half cycle because this is a negative, output is also negative, D2 conducts. Why this D2 is needed? It prevents open from going into the negative saturation. How to detect a negative peak? Simply change the diode polarities. This is a summary. And thanks for watching this. These are the references. If you like the video of Peak Detector Circuit, kindly subscribe this channel and share this. Thank you.
have a good day.